International forces are struggling to get Haiti's gang crisis under control. A U.S.-backed police force deployed months ago is outmanned and underfunded. The 400 police troops face thousands of gang members and have yet to advance through the capital of Port-au-Prince to clear out criminals despite being there for almost two months. Amid the ongoing efforts, a prison break turned deadly on Friday in a coastal city north of the capital. Since the arrival of international forces, the prison system has been thrown into chaos, with prisons lacking critical resources while facing an influx of prisoners. Haitian authorities say about a dozen people died during a shooting involved in the search and recovery of escapees. A riot in the prison reportedly happened as inmates protested over a lack of food and poor conditions. Haiti's interim prime minister said earlier this month, Haitians are growing impatient with the failure to stop the violence. Officials acknowledge the multinational security support mission is not moving at the speed they expected, but say they are strapped for money and resources, making it difficult to bring Haiti back to normalcy. The U.S. is also caught in between funding Ukraine and Israel and is reportedly hesitant to get further involved into Haiti's security mission. But the U.S. military is promising the delivery of armored vehicles, riot control and protective gear. The delivery may not be enough, though, as gangs are only growing in strength and numbers. Officials estimate there are anywhere from 5 to 10,000 gang members, mainly in and around Haiti's capital. The U.N.-backed mission is reportedly in need of choppers, combat vehicles, and more infrastructure to defeat the criminal organizations. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more stories on the situation, download the Straight Arrow News app.